What's up you guys? So today is moving day. Um, I'm just finishing the last touches. I have to take off these pictures. I have to undo my bed um, because I slept in it last night and my dad should be here soon. So honestly, I didn't realize how much of a mess this would be because even though it's like from sweet to sweet, it's still like I have to put everything in like something so that it's easier to take up to my place, which I didn't really grab a lot of boxes. So here we are. I have the living room pretty much done. That picture is actually staying here. And then my dad's gonna like unmount the TV and stuff. And then this cabinet's empty, um, blankets just there. And then I'm gonna put those gifts in that bag. We have to move the mirror. The kitchen's all done, We're all done here. Anyways, you guys, I'm just gonna hurry up and pack and then head to the new place with all the stuff, so. the move we're just doing the couch and the bed as well this room's looking crazy like this is like the junk room right now we're just painting the wall here and then i'm gonna get this one painted as well you guys see on the side there there's like some marks. They said this place should have been touched up, so they're just gonna go over it with paint. Everything is pretty much moved in. I did the bed up. I think that's all I want in here. It's just the bed. And then the kitchen. Don't really have much going on right now. These are the boxes for the kitchen. And then the, this room is like very crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. And then with the closet as well, I need to like reorganize that. night in my new suite and I kind of like cleared up the whole kitchen area a little bit like I didn't take anything out glasses are there I just put the oil there the air fryer there the blender I have the spices there I have all my boxes these boxes are mainly for the kitchen I kind of just put everything back into those into my sofa the stuff that I already had stored so it took away a lot of clutter that right there is garbage so ignore that let me actually move that okay the hallways look crazy. That's my other room. We're not even gonna go through it. I had such a nice sleep, you guys. I'm going to get up and go to a yoga class and then we can go ahead and start organizing. But I think I wanna start doing the kitchen first so that I can get this area all organized. Like you guys what i plan on doing with this kitchen because i know it looks the exact same as my old kitchen i really want to try the cabinet paper i think it's called stick and peel or something like that i want to do that and i want to make it white in this kitchen i know it's going to take a long time and i've never done it before so i know it's probably going to be very very stressful and hard so let me know if you guys have done that in your place i see tiktoks like all the time and i was actually going to do it in my old place we are getting some changes in the gym so stay tuned for that i'm really excited to get back into the gym more um i was talking about my couch and i guess we'll save that for another video anyways we're gonna go ahead and unbox my kitchen kind of started putting my wine glasses because i quickly moved my wine and champagne glasses i didn't want them to break while we were like moving all the boxes and stuff but this side actually opens on the other end so i don't know what i'm going to put in there because it's awkwardly like pointed to the other end so every time i would have to get something and i have to go around so i feel like that's going to be like extra storage things that i would need for my kitchen i don't know we'll see this is a longer one i'm thinking i could do bowls and stuff here this one i was thinking for my spice racks and food i kind of want the spices by the stove as well so Maybe I'll do the spices in here and extra food stuff. 
I took a quick little break because I did like a little questionnaire on Instagram to ask what you guys think I should do for my storing of everything. Let's see what everybody says. <laughs> I feel like this is still no help. So the most voted one is plates, glasses, and spices. The most voted one is plates, glasses, spices. So the spices are still there. I'm just gonna switch the plates and the glasses. So these are my spices and I wasn't sure if I'm gonna organize this drawer. Let me show you guys. I put my protein in here, my AG1, my care of vitamins, and then like some BCAAs, some greens. And yeah, so that's in this drawer just because I wanna make more shakes. I also have my AG1 in the fridge. I'm gonna take these glasses down and then start putting some spices there. So let me grab my stool. <laughs> I forgot at my other place, I had these extra ones on here. So I need to get more. I have a bunch of these ones here. So let me just stock what's going on here. I also wanna order a new pepper one because I can't find the lid. I don't know what happened. And obviously now I moved. Because I don't have salt, I'm going to put this garlic powder in it because I don't have any container for that. And right now I'm using this pink salt. So it's crushed salt and obviously that's not gonna work in here. So I'm gonna use this one for garlic powder and I know it says salt. I'm gonna relabel them uh, in another video. I wanna like reorganize this when I buy more spices or spice jars, so. Ooh! I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but... And then these are just extras in the back of each spice, so I just figured it would look better like that. I have this cabinet here, which I had like a lot of my um, food and stuff. This is probably really expired. I can't even remember what it is, but I'm gonna clean this one up, clean this one up, and then I'm gonna put some white sugar and some brown sugar, and I think I will store this into the spice cabinet as well, so. Okay, I'm gonna do the sugar first. Oh, that was like the perfect amount. Brown sugar. I'm about to put those glasses in there, but I actually cleaned all of the glasses here because the garlic powder got on them. I also emptied those containers that I was taking out of that plastic bin because honestly, a lot of the stuff was expired. So I'm just gonna like restart and see what I actually need and use. But anyways, I finished this cabinet. This is what I've done so far. So same thing, I did the spices like that and then white sugar and brown sugar and salt. I need to get a new salt. I think I just put water in there by accident. And then I put some like oils and vinegars and stuff at the top. I don't know what I'm gonna store at the top there, but that's that. So I think I decided on glasses there. I think when I get a new bowl set, plate set, I will switch it. But for now, I'm going to put the glasses there. In this random cabinet here, I think I'm just gonna have extras. So I just put extra seasoning at the top. I don't know what else I'm storing here, but that is what this cabinet is so far. Anyways, I'm trying to get that plastic part off of that shelf at the top, but literally it's so hard to do. My mom just called me. I think she's coming over. Um, but I'm going to quickly set up my kitchen so that it doesn't look crazy when she gets here. Now I'm gonna do the stove area. I took these out and my mom just said she's coming over. So she's probably gonna help me set some things up and then I'll show you guys like tomorrow or something what I got done. And I think tomorrow I wanna go to like Costco or something, grab some stuff. So I literally packed this stuff so fast. 
this thing was so hard to get off um, because I needed to obviously take it off for my damage deposit. I didn't want them to, you know, say anything about this. But I think this is a perfect spot here. And in my other apartment here, there was a light, but there's actually no light. So this is actually perfect. And hopefully I can get it straight this time. So double-sided tape. I'm going to put one strip here. Just ripped it off now i'm gonna try to aim for this to be in the center this one's actually not as strong as the one it came with but i think it'll be fine that looks so good i forgot about this box I like those flowers there, but I also like them in the corner there. I put like the cutting boards and the cooking utensils kind of on the same side as where I had before, but I just feel like this might be too cramped and then I need something over here. I don't like the air fryer here. I need to figure out how to fit it in the cupboard there. Anyways, I'm about to cook some HelloFresh. I'm gonna make this meal here. This is the dinner. I'm gonna eat this with some kombucha and call it a night. Looks so good. It was actually really chilly last night, so I turned down the heat, so I just turned it up this morning. But this is my breakfast, some oatmeal, some blueberry, raspberry. Um, we're gonna see what we're gonna get up to today. I really wanna go to Costco, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this and probably get ready for the day. I just got to Costco, as you can see in the back. I'm gonna be stocking up on some groceries for the new place. I do have a bigger fridge, so I just wanna see what I can find there. I'm gonna get like some protein bars for sure, maybe some protein drinks as well, and just see what else they have. I know they have like one of my favorite makeup wipes. It's from Kirkland that I really, really like. So I think I'm gonna try to get a box of that if they have it. Mainly things that I can like stock up on that I know I need. So let's go. I got these makeup wipes that I really like and then I got this little mixing bowl set and then I really wanted to try these crispy potato corn dogs with cheese this looks so good I got some fruit some pineapple raspberry blueberries some protein bars Alani new energy drinks and then I did get this new shower head I'm not sure about those so I'm gonna try it out and see how it works on my shower and then I got ginger lemonade kombucha and these chocolate strawberries which I'm really excited to try out I'm gonna go ahead and change and then I will put everything away with you guys Let's show you guys what I'm about to eat. Look how good that looks. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm probably gonna chill for the rest of the night. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I made food last night and then I kind of just like didn't film at all, but I forgot I opened some Amazon orders. I wanted to show you guys this morning, but they didn't turn out to be what I wanted them to be. I told you guys I want to do that stick and peel contact paper on my cabinets. I ordered one, unfortunately this one, if you guys can see it is like a blue, 
like a very bluish white shade. I don't know if it's going to focus. You can't really tell, but if I put it towards the white cabinets, then it just doesn't blend at all. And now I'm kind of like thinking about it. I don't know if they're going to blend at all. Like if I find any type of contact paper that's white, I'm going to send this one back. And then I did order these really long curtains that I'm not sure if they're going to work. They just seem very thin. Here, I'll show you guys the packaging. The brand was Muley. Muley. I don't know if any of you guys are Canadian and you guys have an Amazon storefront. Um, let me know how to set that up because I really don't know how to do that and I'm not sure if you can do it in Canada so if you guys do have one and you're Canadian let me know how to do that because I want to obviously be able to link everything for you guys so it's easy for you guys to get anything that you guys see that I'm showing off so it comes with two of these and they're super sheer I got them because they're super long so they're a bit longer than the ones that I've had because the ones that I have are a bit too short I think they're like that much shorter than the whole wall and to be honest I want it like from top to bottom so I kind of really like want them to cover all the way down to the floor which is why I'm currently looking for some new ones as you guys can see these ones are super sheer and let me grab my other ones from ikea that i really like for my place these are the helja ones from ikea i think some of you guys were asking me where my curtains were from they aren't as transparent and these ones are very very see-through the sheer ones would probably be the better option because i'm not getting like that i'm not getting that glare of sun a part of me wants to put up curtains but again i don't want to get it dark in here so I feel like maybe with those Ikea ones it might make it a little dark because they are more opaque and these ones are more sheer so I'm gonna try these ones honestly I'm not tall enough and then the stool that I have like literally only gets me like halfway up my window so I'm gonna have to get my friend to help me um and see if he can do it because yeah, these are just like not long enough. So I'm still gonna hold off to see if I even want these for sure. It sucks that Ikea doesn't like make longer ones. So yeah, I ordered that from Amazon and I also ordered this plate set, you guys. One of the plates was broken, so I taped it up quickly and I'm gonna take it back. I already requested a return and refund and all that stuff. So I'm gonna send these back and then hopefully I can get my refund for that because these were $107, well, Canadian. They were $107. I quickly looked on Google to see like Gibson Home, this exact, um, plate set and I found them at a London drugs. It is just like a not like a target Well, it has like it sells makeup and stuff like that. It has um, makeup perfumes um, Electronics, so I guess it is kind of like a target or something But it's called London drugs and I found this you guys the same exact one for $40 and these ones are 107 which is crazy So I didn't tape this up yet this morning So I got this one this morning because I was like, you know what they have three in stock It's on sale for $40. I'm gonna run to grab it and yeah, so then that's what I did but What's crazy, you guys, is I looked at both these plates and they're totally off. I mean, they're not totally off. I'm gonna put a picture side by side, but honestly, I've been coming across a lot of things on TikTok stating that a lot of the Amazon products are fake. So to be honest, I feel like these ones are fake. And because it like came broken, I just feel like these ones are probably ones that break quickly. And the writing in the back where it says like the company Gibson Home, it just looks totally different. These ones I found were a little bit bigger and thinner. So I just found that was really weird. I feel like these have to be real because I mean, they're selling them at a store and there's a bunch of them. So, and I got them for $40, which is half the price, which is more than half the price actually. Um, and these were $107. So moral of the story is I always forget to look up in my actual area and like the stores and stuff because I always just go straight to Amazon. And I think that Amazon has the best deals when in reality, it's like, a hit or miss like you can get good deals on some things but a lot of the times you do get ripped off like this so don't get this plate set on amazon try to look for it in like a store near you so just look up like the actual name of the company but it's a 16 piece 16 piece like they're both the same so it's very very weird um anyways yeah i'm taking these ones back since we're on the topic of amazon i did do another order last night keep seeing these type of mirrors everywhere like these kind of cloud ovaly shaped mirrors so i ended up getting a juicer and then a shower caddy and then this mirror okay this is the shower caddies does it say the name it just comes in like a box like this i got corner ones this time it comes with some adhesives actually i still have my old ones so i think i'm gonna try to put that in there but i don't have the adhesive sticks so hopefully i can probably find um some new ones and then i'm gonna unbox this juicer and then i'll show you guys when i'm done i'm actually gonna have some pre-workout right now because i'm gonna go to the gym after this and i need my pre-workout obviously to kick in before i get to the gym obviously it is a new year i'm trying to get back in the hustle and you guys my stairmaster is fixed now i've been going like late nights and it's been kind of like good but i'm such a morning person usually and i think i'm still getting used to like being here because i feel like i've been sleeping in like constantly 
waking up early has not been in the books for me right now and I need to get back to it because I love waking up I love the way it makes me feel and I love getting my gym workouts like done right away in the day let me know if you guys have tried this one but I looked on Amazon and this was like highly rated and it was like very affordable what well, was like a hundred and something dollars whereas like every other juicer I find was like almost two hundred dollars so I think I might keep it on the counter I still need to put that one somewhere else because I don't know it's just not the vibe so you get this cup I believe it goes like that hold on Move out there and then that one you put all your vegetables in here goes out there actually let me turn it on because i did plug it in yeah so it like does its thing and then wherever it pours i actually don't know um and then i don't know honestly i didn't read the manual i just kind of put it together with what i thought was like gonna go where and i think it did a pretty good job but it also came with this i have no idea what this is so maybe i should open up the manual book but that is my new juicer you guys i still haven't organized the bathroom so we're gonna do that together today and then we're gonna also put these plates back oh i didn't show you guys the plates i'll show you guys the plates because they're clean in the dishwasher now Oh my gosh, do you guys see this mirror? It is so cute. I'm moving it so you guys can really see it, but it was quite expensive. This was, I think, 170. There's hooks in the back so you can do it sideways or you can do it like this way. There were cheaper ones on Etsy, but I haven't really shopped on Etsy like that. So I was kind of like nervous on how long it would take if it's trustworthy on there. Like I haven't actually shopped on there. You guys let me know your experience with Etsy, but I went on Amazon. And I found this one. It was like one day shipping. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get this one. And I'm actually really happy I did. Like, look at it, it looks so nice. Um, I don't know where I'm putting this and I'm kind of nervous that I took it out of the box now because I have no idea where I'm putting it. So yeah, I have to ask my dad to put it up for me somewhere. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it, but. Okay, I didn't even realize, but I forgot about this box here as well. This is a cutlery um, organizer for that drawer. So I can actually like organize all my cutlery and stuff, so. This is the bamboo expandable organizer and I think it'll fit perfectly in this drawer here. I do you want to get some like lining for underneath so that it doesn't scratch because this is wood and if I put knives there it's gonna scratch and then I also want to put some lining underneath so I can put more stuff around it. I don't know, we're getting somewhere I guess. shower ate some food and was watching like a podcast i also opened up a package from revolve that i had so i thought i might just show you guys maybe i will try these on tomorrow because i mean i did just shower i could try them on now but i'm kind of lazy i want to put my new plates away and i also want to finish the bathroom because i didn't even like organize anything i'll show you guys everything's still like literally in the boxes it's not a set because they came individually but this is like literally perfect for vacation so this is like a crochet brown material i'll have it on the screen here it's from the brand tula rosa and it's so cute i got this one in a small and then it came with a skirt which is really really cute goes like around your waist with these strings midi skirt also like a crochet knit material really really cute and has this like this cute little accessory there and then this one's like super fun these are both from lovers and friends online if you guys can see the picture i didn't realize they were rhinestones nice and glittery and glam and it's like a ribbed material ribbed knit um, very very stretchy except i guess the waist part because it has this um, diamond type of situation the rhinestone and then this is the long sleeve zip up top so you can also see the rhinestones at the bottom and then they're also on the wrist as well this is kind of cute hopefully they all fit but yeah that's what i got from revolve you guys i love shopping there for statement outfit pieces and then also for beachwear as well well like vacation wear and stuff like that because they have like a lot of cute little knit 
um, crochet two-piece sets or dresses and stuff. I'm gonna try to get my friend to help me put up the curtains so that I can see if they're worth keeping. So if I do put them up, I'm probably gonna show you guys that tomorrow because I wanna show you guys that during the day or I'll get like a little snippet of tonight because it is dark out, you guys. It's already dark. This is what my place looks like. Guys, my place is still a mess. I have like my Amazon boxes and stuff like that there. Um, and then like my home decor is still there you guys I literally didn't pack it that garbage bag by the window is just pillows I haven't taken out and if you guys can see my TV stand I broke the door So I was moving it around last night and I freaking broke it I guess when I was like opening and closing the door I haven't even undone my new bedding for my place. I might just do this during the day and also just like continue this video again tomorrow. But I also got this throw as well. They're both like kind of like a beigey taupe, like a very light taupey beige. So for tonight, I want to finally put my dishes away. I didn't show you guys what they look like, but I cleaned them earlier. So now I want to put them away. But you guys look how cute the set is. They have like that high edge, which I think is so, so cute. But this is a small plate. So it's a 16 piece. Comes with four four and four which is perfect because i mean it's just me here i don't need a six or an eight piece so these are the bowls real cute i just love the way they look you guys i don't know i've just never been so happy about getting cute plates and stuff i think they're just giving me the vibes like look at that and i really love the pasta bowls well they're not pasta bowls they're just like the larger bowls um, I'm assuming they're for pasta. I feel like they're perfect for pasta. So, I mean, look at that. Like, obsessed. So this one is the bigger plate, which, again, so cute. Like, come on. So I'm gonna put these ones away, and then I can get rid of, like, my old plates and stuff. I'm still gonna keep my Our Place dishes. They're kind of, like, similar to, like, my style that I like now. But these ones are, like, a very, um very light beigey mauve like i don't know if you guys can see and then it has like speckles on it but yeah i'm gonna keep these at the very top because i won't really reach for those unless i like need them these white plain ones i don't even know where i got these i think they're like six or eight piece so many have broken over the years and it's just too many and i don't really like them anymore so a few of you guys asked me where i sell my stuff i was gonna do like a poshmark or something like that but facebook marketplace is like what i use in like my local area so then people will like just come and pick them up or i just give like a lot of stuff to like my family um like my cousin literally took like all my clothes basically and then um the other clothes i donated small plates here big bowls here Look how good that looks. And then I forgot these clear bowls. I'm just gonna put these up here. I think this is a vibe now. The things that I get excited about now that I'm older is crazy. I still have to organize so many things. I feel like majority of this video is in my kitchen because I feel like that's kind of what I wanna worry about first. With like decorating and stuff like that for my bedroom, my living room and stuff, I honestly think I wanna get a new couch. It's just, I have to put everything in its place first so that I know for sure I can get a new couch that has obviously less storage because I'm not gonna find a couch that's gonna have all three seats as storage. Because if you guys didn't know, literally every piece of my couch opens. So this opens, you guys. I have like everything in there. This one's actually empty, and then this one has all like my bedding and stuff. So, yeah, it's like so convenient. Hold on, someone's calling me. So, I have all the products here. I saw, of course. I haven't even touched the cabinet, didn't put the shelves in or anything. And this is my shower situation, guys. I literally have everything on the floor. So yeah, we need to hurry up and put these shelves up. And I got the shower head from Costco, but I haven't opened it yet. I actually have it by the front door because I think I'm gonna take that back. And I was looking on Amazon for other ones because I don't know if I want a shower head that has like this type and then the one that also comes off and like you can move it, you know? Because a part of me wants the option now. So I'm kind of thinking I shouldn't take that out of the box or the packaging yet until I know for sure I want it. Okay. Lower or higher? Is that too high? shelves in and then I'm going to put the products back in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding these products and then I'll show you guys once I'm done.
Okay, what do you guys think about that when I shut the blinds? Do you guys think it looks weird when you can see the blinds in the back of the curtains? So I can have some sort of privacy, but at the same time, I still want the light to get in. So if I have them thicker, then the light won't be able to come in. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put them all up. I actually put four on this one and then there's four on that one, but this is a bigger window. So I might put another one on here because I think it looks better when there's more curtains on there. You'll see with this one. I'm about to do my bed with some new bedding, so you guys can just watch me do the bed. By the way, I put that mirror here because I'm not sure. I kind of want to put it on this wall, but also part of me wants to put it there. I also brought in that little side table because I want to have two side tables here, but I don't want to get the mom one anymore and get something maybe a little bit more minimalist like that. Maybe with like one drawer or something. Yeah, So I'm done at the bathroom. This is what it looks like. It looks very similar to my old bathroom. I just put everything kind of the same as my old bathroom. I have to put my hand, um, my hand soap there as well. I have to grab a new one. I still want to organize this one properly because I want to like declutter some stuff and see what I actually use and what I don't need. So yeah. And then that's the new shower caddy, which I'm loving. So yeah, that is the washroom. I haven't worked on the other washroom. Okay, so this is the mirror that I was thinking I kind of I want to put right here or I was thinking maybe right there this picture frame I'm still not sure if I'm keeping it I want to put it up here I just put the mirror in the corner there. I have like that cloud or abstract mirror in the back, um, just waiting to be hung somewhere. I'm gonna try to find two matching side tables. And I think that's all I'll have in my room and then I'll just have like some sort of decor around the room. I put one pair of the curtains up, but I think I'm gonna add another one so that it'll look like the patio door ones. The patio doors have two pairs and I think it looks really good. This big living room window also has two pairs, but I think I'm gonna add probably just half of a pair or another pair. This is what my living room's looking like. Those are the curtains right there. I just need someone to help me put them up. I didn't go through every single box here. It's just some random stuff like decor. I can't really put on my TV stand until I have my TV mounted, but that's what my living room's looking like. Let me know what you guys think. And then I got my two island chairs. I'm gonna get two more for the end here. I had like a different organization here for my dishes, but I just ordered on Amazon a different one. So I'm gonna try to switch it up in here. This is how I've kind of organized the kitchen so far. I just got my new water filter from a water drop so I just have that on the counter here and that's just my decor in the corner but yeah that's my kitchen area so far these are the rooms that I've kind of focused on I think I'm gonna end it here because I feel like this video is getting too long let me know what you guys think about my new place and how everything's turning out also let me know what you guys think about my new curtains if you think the sheerness is okay if it's good I do like the big windows and everything and I do like the lighting but Sometimes I just want like the cozy feel and I feel like this really gives that but yeah I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching If you guys did enjoy this video and make sure to give me a thumbs up If you do want to see any more videos from me make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications So you'll be notified every time I upload a new video Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys